What's up, family? A select group of top Democratic strategists has used data compiled from last year's election to conclude why they believe Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump. Now, the biggest reason that they feel she lost was because of what they call Obama-Trump voters. These are the voters who voted for Obama in 2012, Democrats who switched over and voted for Donald Trump. They're saying two-thirds, two-thirds accounts for the reason why she lost. They're saying that she lost the election and the reason for losing, those defectors, those voters that left, accounted for two-thirds of the reason why she lost. You know, the short answer is just that the base didn't show up. That's what a lot of people like to say. Ah, oh, the base didn't show up. They didn't come out. They didn't support. They didn't support. But you know, I got a different take on it as usual. You know what's interesting when they say Obama-Trump voters? That sounds like an oxymoron. Because that's two words that just don't go together. Obama-Trump. Let me tell you something. That is the big beef that I got with Democrats. And this is the reason why a lot of Republicans feel like they can run over Democrats and do whatever they want to because Democrats are often, or they often exhibit spineless behavior. Under no circumstances, if you were a party, you were a particular group, you don't abandon that group. See, the Republicans ain't going to switch over for nothing. They gonna stick together no matter what. Democrats toxic turd. They can go anyway. Well, even the, even Donald Trump, your president, even he used to be a Democrat not too long ago. He switched over to Republican. So you see, Democrats re defecting all the time, but the Republicans they kind of stick to the code. So had. The Democrats stuck to the code no matter what, then you wouldn't have Donald Trump in office. I'm not saying Hillary would have been the best choice, but Donald Trump damn sure wouldn't have been in office. And you wouldn't have Mike Pence waiting in the wings just in case Donald Trump gets impeached or something peculiar happens to him. So, After reading these studies, checking out everything that the experts had to say, I came up with my own conclusions as to why I think Hillary Clinton lost. I got five top reasons why I think she lost. And I'm going to start with number five. She thought she was guaranteed a victory. Yeah, she even took the month of August off. Remember that? She took the month of August off while Donald Trump was campaigning. He was out there hitting it. Hillary was chilling. She thought she had it in the bag. I mean, think about that. You got August, September, October, November. So you taking three months out into the election and you know, two, three months out from the election and you take a whole month off to, to kick it, to kick your feet up, couldn't have been me. I'm that close, I can smell victory. I'm going in for the kill. That's just me. Number four, 
FBI Director James Comey reopened that investigation into the email scandal. See, that timing, think about it. You got to think about the timing. That was like days away from the election, and he reopened the whole email scandal. Now, let me tell y'all something, man. That email scandal thing, I mean, that was, to me, was one of the weakest scandals ever. Because some damn emails. I mean, okay, you accidentally hit the wrong button or sent some sensitive information to somewhere, whatever. But come on, man. Y'all know damn well those emails wasn't that important. I mean, I'm saying, that, okay, they're important, but not the way y'all was riding. Not Y'all was acting like she committed a murder. You got people that right now that are in the White House. I bet you you check their emails right now. I bet you found a whole lot of inappropriate stuff going on. Probably some illegal things. Yeah. So what happened when the FBI director reopened those email, that email scandal, that email investigation, those states that were on the fence, like uh, Michigan and... Um, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, those states pretty much decided that they was going to roll with Trump at that point. So, yeah, reopening that email investigation hurt her big time. It really hurt her. Uh, number three. Hey, man, bottom line, Clinton was a terrible candidate. She was a terrible candidate. Now, I know that she did have the experience, but much of her experience centered around a scandal and corruption. Yes, she knew what to do. She had been in many situations, but she had a long history of scandal. Yeah. So... One of the big things that hurt him was the fact that black people did not go to the polls. A large percentage of black people stayed home. They just couldn't find them. So they didn't want to vote for Trump. But they damn sure did not want to reward Hillary Clinton with becoming the president of the United States after she called young black males super predators. You see... And she tried to backtrack and she asked for forgiveness and all this stuff. But that was just a hard pill to swallow, man. That pill was just way too hard to swallow. So people couldn't forgive it. And they couldn't forgive her and her husband, Bill, for mass incarceration, which dis disproportionately affected black males. Disproportionately, I mean, hurt broke up so many communities, so, broke up so many black families, destroyed black families. Millions couldn't forgive her for that. So that was a big deal. Uh, Russia, China, Iran, all of them uh, became emboldened after, after um, Hillary Clinton's uh, antics uh, while she was uh, Secretary of State. Um, and, and let's not forget Benghazi. That was a big deal. A lot of people just couldn't forgive her for that. But I don't know why people held on to Benghazi so damn much. I don't know what the deal was about Benghazi. A couple of people got killed. All right, people get killed overseas all the time. But there was something for them to latch on to. They had to have something. You got to have scandals when people are running for office. You got to find something to hate them for. So you got to have something. So that was good enough. They, they got the Benghazi thing and they jumped on it and they stuck with it and rolled with it, rolled with it. And, you know, you had a, uh, an elected official who was killed uh, during that time. And it's ironic that people was uh, so stuck on that because, you know, Donald Trump, you know, he shitted on a whole lot of elected officials like it wasn't nothing. He talk, talked about him real, real bad, even John McCain. Talked about John McCain like a dog and 
this guy was a war hero that he called uh, a, a coward because uh, he actually called a loser because he was a POW. He was actually captured while trying to defend the great country that we all call America. Number two, she lost because she and the DNC treated Bernie Sanders like a piece of shit. Yeah. See, it wasn't enough that they cheated to uh, beat Bernie, but after they beat Bernie, they act like they didn't need Bernie's supporters. But what they should have done is rolled out the red carpet for Bernie Sanders and even promised him that he'd become the vice president, he'd be her running mate, you know, if she was to emerge out of that, you know, well, actually, once she did, she should have, she should have been like, look, you know, I'll pick you as my running mate. She should have picked Bernie as a running mate at least, because I do believe people would have voted for Bernie. A lot of people would have voted for Bernie, especially young people, but they could not stand the sight of Hillary Clinton. They did not want to vote for Hillary Clinton. They would have voted for Bernie. And I do believe that some of the defectors, um, some of the defectors who went over to the uh, Trump camp would have also voted for Bernie. A lot of those Democrats that, Democrats that went over to Trump would have voted for Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders was really the best candidate in the whole field. He was the absolute best candidate. He should be the president of the United States. Uh, but, hey, you know how we do it in America. We don't vote for the best candidate. We vote for who we think can win. We vote for who we like to sit down and have a cup of coffee with. Or drink a beer with. Yeah. That's how we do it in America. And, number one, y'all, I think we can all agree on this one. In fact, we can throw all of the other ones away. The reason why Hillary Clinton lost the election is because Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin from Russia conspired to fix the presidential election. That's why Hillary Clinton lost. The election was rigged. Now, if you appreciate the videos that I bring to y'all, you find value in them, join the movement. Go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Willie D Live and join the movement. Patreon.com Willie D Live. Join the movement. Patreon.com slash Willie D Live and join the movement. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.